What's up YouTube, May Tutorials here. Today I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 10.10 .10 in VirtualBox for Windows and Mac. First you're going to want to download the Ubuntu 10.10 .10 ISO file which is the root of the operating system and that can be found in the first link in the description. And then you're going to want to download VirtualBox which is in the second link in the description. Now in the links in the description there's one for Mac and one for PC and obviously choose Mac or PC depending on what you have. Then after you've installed VirtualBox click new then click next then name it. Name it Ubuntu. I'm gonna name it Ubuntu test obviously for this test. Then click next then you can choose how much RAM you're gonna assign it. Assign it. I'm gonna assign it 1000 which is approximately one gig of RAM. Make sure that you do not um, do less than 512 megs or over your computer's physical limit. Then click next. Then click boot hard disk and create new hard disk. Then click next. Next. Then click fix size storage for the virtual hard drive since it's a virtual hard drive it doesn't really need to dynamically expand when you add more files since it's virtual you can just go back to your main computer when it runs out then click next then um, make sure it's named correct and I'm gonna make it a five gigabyte virtual hard drive then click next oh yeah also make sure it's not under one gig hard drive or over your computer's physical limit. Then make sure the summary is all correct and then click finish. Then it will create this virtual hard drive. Depending on how fast your computer is, this may take a while. Now that the virtual hard drive has been created, click finish. Then you're going to want to click the Ubuntu thing you made and then click start. Now it should open up the first run wizard and then you're going to want to click next then choose uh, click this button the file browser then go to where you downloaded that Ubuntu 10.10 .10 ISO and double click it and then you're gonna wanna click next and then finish now when it comes to this part click hit the spacebar then press enter or choose whatever language you're most fluent in then you're going to want to press the down button and click install Ubuntu Alright, now the install window should turn on, and you're going to want to click forward, or choose your language and then click forward. Then you're going to want to make sure that it has at least 2.6 gigabytes available drive space, is plugged into a power source, yes I do not have that, but I will get it plugged in, and that it's connected to the internet. Now you might want to download the updates while installing, or you can update later, but since this is a test, I'm not going to click that. Now that everything is checked, you're going to want to click forward. Now, this part may seem scary, but it is actually going to simply format that virtual hard drive that cre you created, not the physical hard drive. So click erase and use the entire disk, and then click forward. Then make sure that select drive, it should be something like SC si 3000 sda and then whatever you chose since I chose 5 gigabyte and then ATI VBOX hard disk and it might say 8 gigabyte however you whatever you used and then it should use the entire disk then click install now now you're going to want to choose your name your username and password now it should automatically choose your username and whatever make sure you use all lowercase and all this now for the password since it's a virtual machine you can choose whatever you want so it says it's a weak password whatever now you can choose to log in automatically or require my password to log in and then you can even choose to encrypt the home folder i'm going to choose and choose login automatically then click forward now that the installation has completed which took about let's say 15 minutes since i didn't time it 15 20 minutes 20 minutes should be about normal um once it's done you're going to want to click restart now which obviously will restart the virtual machine not your actual computer 
Now there is a process that I'll have to show you. You will have to eject the virtual CD. I don't know why, but I need to show you that real quick. It might look like this, uh, depending on your display and stuff. Now it says please remove installation media and close the tray if any. So you want to go down here and right click on the CD and then click remove disk from virtual drive. Then you're going to want to click back and press enter and then it should restart and automatically reinsert that seat that virtual CD. Okay now that it is restarted you should hear the Ubuntu startup sound and then you should see the desktop. They should have normal stuff such as the show desktop which is similar to Arrow Peak in Windows 7. The four virtual desktops, the recycle bin, the power on off, the um, time date, mail, and then if your laptop battery, Firefox, the system places in the applications menu which is similar to the finder bar. So if you have switched over from Mac it should seem a little more at home to you than it will on PC but also there is the programs menu is down here alright now what you're going to want to do so that you can uh, enable stuff like full screen and it's a lot less laggy you're going to want to click devices then click install guest additions now that everything is done and it should say press return to close this window so press return or enter depending on your keyboard it's enter then you're going to want to have you're going to have to restart the ubuntu system again yes i know this really stinks but you kind of have to so close everything and restart by going to the power button up here sorry it's a little laggy clicking it and then click restart and then restart okay now that it's restarted uh it will obviously restart and get the sound up now this vbox edition cd you're going to want to leave it on your desktop do not right click and click eject or else you'll have to go through the same process again now if you want full screen go up to here to click machine and then switch to full screen now since i'm recording and the system's kind of slow with recording in ubuntu i'm not going to do this because it'll just mess it up but i will be making some ubuntu tutorials soon with this virtual machine Thank you for watching and if you want more tutorials, subscribe.